Hi, I'm Andrew Carrazzo from the Carlton Football Club. I'm very proud of my Italian heritage, having an Italian mother who was born in Italy. Here is my top 10 Italian footballers from the last 25 years. Hunt, well done again by French, applying the pressure. Carrazzo, what a goal! At number 10, we've got Daniel G in Syracuse from the Western Bulldogs. I've got a high amount of respect for Daniel, his longevity in the game, and his ability to perform week in and week out. Just a little jittery here for the Hawks, kick inside. Got to be good, GA at Syracuse! Some people might say, yeah, but it's Stephen Baker. Boy, <laughs> kicks it towards the pocket. Murphy, John Syracuse, that was clever. A goal here for the lead. Bulldogs in front. At number nine, we've got Peter Matera from the West Coast Eagles. He was a big game performer, as many Geelong supporters can testify in those grand finals where he ripped them apart. He's a fantastic player. Across to Henny, a delicate little chip to the run of Matera. Suddenly the Eagles are alike. Matera sets sail for home, and the Eagles pick the front. Worked under the ball by McGrath. Quick hands from Brennan, too oh. quick, but it comes back to Matera. Matera on the 50, he could kick this. Matera, it's going to be a goal. At number eight, we've got Scott Camperiali from the Carlton Football Club. Had the pleasure of playing with Campo. He was a lovely bloke and a fantastic player to match and a premiership player. I don't know what happened to 5% because he's been sensational. Here's Bradley getting them going again. Franchina rips through the middle of Camperiali. This is becoming a procession. He goes for goal. He uses the bucket. Johnson to Camperiali. For Blues, for Blues fans, it's delightful regardless. Camparelli. <laughs> Is someone going to put a body on Campo? No. So he goes for home. And At number seven, we've got Tony Liberatore. His record speaks for itself. Brownlow medalist, uh, best and fairest winner. His tenacity and his devotion to the game is something to be admired. 1-1 one, one to no score, there's the time remaining. Manson works his way in front, Coleman got a hand to it. Liberatore, great evasion, settles, goes, goal would deserving of a goal and he's got it. Chris Grant in front, can't grab it. Mansfield, oh, he tried to beat the field. Here's Libba, oh, oh he's got oh, a little fella. Great Libba. play, tremendous football, Liberatore. Oh, have a look at him, oh, he's in front. Is that inspirational play by the little chap? <laughs> At number six, we've got Paul Lecuria from the Collingwood Football Club. Uh, Licker was a bit of an idol of mine, even though he played for the Magpies. I just love the way he played. Jewel Copeland Trophy winner, uh, a fantastic player. Can drive it deep towards full forward. Lecuria, the target. At full stretch, couldn't hang on. Bounces up quickly, hooks it at goal and kicks a beauty. Chance hard up on the boundary line for Carousella. Got it to the Curia who kicks it around the corner. Oh, inspiring stuff from Paul Curia. Oh. At number five, we've got Brendan Favola from Carlton and the Brisbane Lions. Uh, Fev speaks for himself. A fantastic player, an excitement machine, and someone that definitely brought people through the gates. And back to Sam Fisher. Didn't realise he had a man coming at him. He's gone. And Favola breaks. The goal is unguarded. What will this do? Oh, it does just the right thing for the Blues. Fev has three. Black from 48. Kicks towards goal. Oh, not quite a maximum mark. Can Favola win some magic? He can! Oh, the Fed's got two! At number four, we've got Anthony Kudafidis from the mighty Carlton Football Club. I uh, had the pleasure of playing with Kuda for a few years, a fantastic guy and a big time player, premiership player, best and fairest winner, uh, just a legend. Dean's been a champion, a veteran of 229 games for the Carlton Titans. Kuda Fides outruns his opponent, throws it into the golf course. Oh. What a great goal! Fisher goes to the pocket. Kuda Fides one on one with Bolton. Kuda grabbed it. Bolton grabbed him. Favola just hauled it in out of midair. Gave it to Kuda. Tight angle. Bends it back. Oh, what a 
kick! Oh. What a kick! Oh. What a goal! At number three, we've got Robert Dippier Domenico from the Hawthorne Football Club. Uh, also a big time player, played in plenty of premierships, uh, and also a colourful personality for the game. Dipper, a legend of the game. Neagle to go the knock on. Dippier Domenico right down there in the forward pocket. Spins out of the pack beautifully, straightens up, fires it for the goals, and that'll be through. What a beauty! With him, punches the ball away. Trapped by McMullen. Dippier Domenico once again takes it, puts it forward, and Dippier Domenico has caught up goal number five. But they're looking okay as we see Jones drop that mark. It was a difficult one. Deep Pieta Menigo and Dill fight it out. It's Deep Pieta Menigo. Beautiful play on the boundary line as he kicks the ball long. What's this one? Oh my goodness. Was that a goal? Yes, it is a goal. Unbelievable. Number two, got Mark Rusciuto from the Adelaide Crows. A best and fairest winner, Brownlow medalist, All Australian, Premiership player. Uh, fearful player, bursting through packs, kicking long goals, taking big marks. He did it all. Kerrison's high kick. Mark. Oh, look at that! Mark Rusciuto! Perry in front of Jankovic. Falls in front. Rusciuto. They need a goal. Rusciuto still going. Outside the 50. Swings it back towards full forward. Glass. Well done by Burton. No free kick. I think it carried the pair it did. Riley's turn to go, and it falls for Rusciuto, and they all fall off him, and he takes full advantage and kicks another goal. And at number one, we've got Stephen Silvani from the Carlton Football Club, a real hero of mine. I grew up having number one on my back of my jersey, running around the front yard, spoiling leads of my brothers. Uh, a real big memory was the 95 grand final where he kept Gary Ablett goalless in the grand final and uh, one of our key players on that day and an absolute legend of the Carlton Footy Club. And Mullane out wide again. Elvin used his body beautifully. Silvani playing well. Off he goes. Hand pass to Wayne Johnson. Carlton finally break through for a goal. Silvani in front. Back up support from Hunter. Now he's going goals himself and finally kicks one. Inside 50 metres. Shoots for goal with the left foot. And the mark's been taken by Lynch. Oh. And a great smother by Silvani. Great play by Peter Dacos. He's kicked to half forward. Starsevich. Oh, Silvani! 